Welcome everyone, this is Andrew here with IDB. When iOS 10 came out, they split the control center into different panels. One of them was the main panel, one for music and one for HomeKit. If you needed to control your music, it was a little bit counterintuitive as it used multiple touches to get to. Well, with Horseshoe, it combines those screens together. Now, you don't see the HomeKit screen, but if you do have HomeKit enabled, which I do not on this device, it doesn't show up. So there is an extra HomeKit panel, but we're going to focus on the main one and the music one that have been combined together. Of course, we have our lovely album artwork and our controls. We can play and pause music as well as skip tracks. The next part down, we have brightness, but you see that icon, that um, little speaker icon on the left. Tapping that will change that slider to now control volume instead of brightness. So you can kind of alternate between which one you'd like. Along the bottom, we have airplay mirroring on the left, turning off night shift in the middle, as well as re-enabling it. And then of course, airdrop is this little icon here on the right hand side. Basically everything that you saw in the original control center, but instead of taking two screens, it's put those together into one nice handy screen. Now, instead of actually having to pull out your device and seeing how it compares, why don't I just show you both what it looked like on the last version without the tweak installed. You can see on the left, the first screen and on the right, the music screen and both those have been combined together in the new horseshoe one here in the center. If you find this as useful as I do and want to pick it up for yourself, you can get it for $1.99. Just download the AT Wix app from Cydia. It looks like this and it'll allow you to purchase that app. You just have to add the Createx repo to Cydia. All that is down in the description below. Please subscribe. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.